Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to easily answer those annoying calendar questions that you find in SHL's General Ability and Deductive Reasoning tests. On the left here, you'll see a question that is similar to the real test. Now to answer this easily, what you'll need is to have a prepared calendar in the Excel sheet, which, with formulas, I can easily adjust the dates to suit the question. On the right of that calendar, have a few colored cells ready, which will allow you to easily copy the format of and color code the calendar. Looking at the question, I notice that the calendar has 28 days and starts on a Saturday. I'll quickly replicate that in my Excel sheet by deleting the unnecessary starting days. A good calendar will then populate the rest of the calendar with the right days and dates in place. The question says that each person is assigned to four consecutive weekdays. The first thing I do before diving right into the details of each person is map this out by color coding the set of dates. Using Excel's Format Painter makes this very easy. Once I've done this, I then start allocating each person to their dates. Look for the easiest clues first. Thomas must include the 20th. There is only one set of dates that has that. So Thomas is fourth. Next, you'll find that Lizzie can't work Mondays. The only set that doesn't have a Monday is the last one, so she's fifth. The remaining clues will naturally fall in place. Since Judy must be immediately before or after Thomas, and immediately after Thomas is already taken by Lizzie, she is third. And in a similar way, you'll place Timothy second, leaving Frank to fill the last spot. Now you can directly answer the question. Judy's set is the third one, so her start date is the 13th, and her end date is the 18th. Okay, let's try another question so you can reinforce your understanding. Here we have another SHL-style calendar question on the left and our calendar on the right. This time, the calendar in the question starts on a Sunday and has 30 days. Let's clear the formatting from the previous question first. One tip I forgot to mention is that the SHL calendars always start on a Sunday. Anyways, we now replicate this same calendar in Excel. I bring back the days so that it starts on Sunday, and delete the unnecessary days at the end of the required dates. Also, clear the names from the previous question. Next, we color code the set of dates for this question. Here it is five sets of six days. Again, use Excel's Format Painter to speed up this process. Now that we have the calendar set up, we can start allocating each person. Look for the easiest clues. Michael must be out on the 16th, so he is third. Sarah works Fridays, which means she is second since that block is the only one that doesn't have a Friday. Emily can only go immediately before or after Michael, and since immediately before Michael is Sarah, Emily must be fourth. Finally, since Daniel works 29th and 30th, he can only take one of the remaining slots, which is first, leaving the last one for James. Now we can answer the question. James' holiday begins on the 25th. I hope you found this video informative. We at Job Test Help would love to be able to assist you with your psychometric tests needs. Please feel free to reach out directly with the links below if you would like to get in touch.